We're going to move on to other topics and come back to Waukesha. You could say it's worse than a shot in the arm. Two people write to Contact 6 saying they were vaccinated against COVID-19, but they are unable to prove it. Here is how Jenna Sachs helped resolve their dilemma with a state database. Whether it's flying, taking in a live show, or keeping your job, it can all depend on whether you have one of these. There's so many things that you need that card for nowadays. Jeffrey Wilman got his COVID-19 shot at the Wisconsin State Fair. Did you want to get vaccinated today? They were all very professional, you know, very clean. Later on, Wilman studied his card. I looked at it, and the card, my name was spelled incorrectly. It was spelled William. It should have been no problem getting Wilman a new card so long as his vaccination was recorded in the Wisconsin Immunization Registry, or WEIR. It wasn't. I can't travel internationally now for my company without that card. WEIR is a confidential database that records all immunizations. Schools use it to enroll students, health care providers to advise patients. No one knows that I took this COVID shot to this day. Tim Gardner's COVID vaccine wasn't in the registry either. He got his shot at an Urban League event while performing as a DJ. I was one of the first ones to volunteer and say, hey, let me take this shot. But he lost his card too. Gardner got this email from the state denying his $100 incentive because it was not able to verify his vaccination. For me, it's more of the principle of it. Both Gardner and Wilman tried speaking with their vaccine provider, AMI. They said they'd look into it and get back to me, and they never did. One of my coworkers said, what about contact six? We wrote to the Department of Health Services, which contacted the vaccinator. Soon after, we spoke with the head of AMI's Wisconsin vaccination program. It's uncommon to happen, but it is not unheard of to have an issue with updating a WER registry. AMI has administered more than 100,000 doses of the COVID-19 vaccine here in Wisconsin often at mobile clinics like the one they held here at the Wisconsin State Fair. It tells me registry issues are rare, but when they do happen, an administrative error is usually to blame. Your name may have changed. Sometimes there is a data entry error that may have taken place five years ago that wasn't caught at the time, but now becomes apparent. AMI called both men who wrote to contact six. In both circumstances, we were able to get those issues resolved. Gardner sent us a text saying, thanks for all the help. Wilman texted, you did it. I'm Jenna Sachs, contact six. Jenna, thank you. AMI says it's usually easy to resolve registry issues, but this is one reason you should hold on tight to your vaccine card. If your status on the registry is not accurate, call the provider, then Wisconsin 211. We do have a link where you can check. Just go to our website, fox6now.com.